Hey guys, all right, Med School Made Easy, got a video on uh, these two different phenomena. Um, the first one is Don Phenomenon, the second one is the Samoji Effect. Um, this video is uh, dedicated to Danelle, I hope I'm saying that name right, who's got her NCLEX exam on uh, the 26th, I believe. Yes, of this month, so good luck Danelle, hopefully this video helps you out. All right, without further ado. Um, both of these effects, both these phenomena are seen in type 1 diabetics, right? So people that um, are not insulin resistant, but are insulin deficient. Their bodies cannot make insulin in their pancreas. Um, so yeah, let's keep, continue with that thread and let's talk about what's similar between these two things. So they're both seen in type 1 diabetics, right? And they're largely modulated by the same hormones. Those hormones being glucagon, growth hormone, cortisol. Um, a lot of those hormones are already, you know, big players in uh, diabetes and, uh, you know, monitoring of blood sugar. But um, those are the key modulators here. So both these things, how they're alike is they're, uh, they're active in type 1 diabetics and they're modulated by the same hormones. Now, how are they different? Well, <clears throat> an introduction to the Don phenomenon first. The Don phenomenon, DP, is something that happens in everyone. And it happens actually whether you are a diabetic or not, but it's just diabetics respond differently. And this is, as the word dawn indicates, it happens in the morning, usually between like 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. or right around 6 a.m. is when a lot of people say you have this surge in hormones, right? You have the surge in growth hormones, you have a surge in cortisol, you have a surge in uh, glucagon. Basically, it's these good stress hormones that are saying like, hey, hey, pal, it's time to wake up, you know, get ready for the day. Um, and this, you know, it depends on your biological clock and all that stuff. But, you know, for most people, this occurs around 6 a.m. when it says, hey, it's time to wake up, time to get going. And these are, this really is that good stress that people are talking about. So it's not too much of these stress hormones, but it's just enough. So um, that cortisol and growth hormone, um, you know, the growth hormone, it antagonizes insulin, which causes your blood sugar to raise. So we're going to get more blood sugar to the parts of our body that need it to get moving, to get motor in the morning. So what the Don phenomenon is, is everybody, I'm going to say 6 a.m., although it could be, you know, different depending on people, and we raise um, hormones, which lead to increased sugar, just to get us going. I'm going to start right, get going, or good stress. Okay, so that's the Don phenomenon. Everyone experiences it. That's a terrible everyone, but everyone. Now, the Samoji effect, right, solo, is different because it's, it's debatable. It's not exactly proven, and it's definitely not seen in everyone. I'm going to write individual. Because it varies in the individual. But what happens here is, um, let's think about a diabetic, right? And so diabetics have problems. Um, maintaining a certain blood sugar, which you know non-diabetic people don't have that problem, but diabetics have that problem. So, just like we talked about, both these have in common. We're talking about diabetic individuals. Now, diabetic individuals who also experience the Samoji effect, the Samoji phenomenon, they have this problem where overnight they go into a hypoglycemic uh, episode. So it might be like they went to bed fine. They checked their blood sugar right before they went to bed and hey, they're right at, you know, whatever, like 100 or 120, and they're super happy with that. Um, and so they're going to bed. Overnight, they, their blood sugar drops. Now, like I said, it's individual because this doesn't happen for everyone. So we don't really know if it's like they pump out extra insulin or they had a certain dream that made their blood sugar, you know, lower or what it is or the way that they're sleeping or, you know, if they're sleeping in a cold room so they have to burn or whatever it is. Um, they go hypoglycemic sometime in the night. You know, keep in mind, we never talked about this with the Don phenomenon, so we never talked about necessarily hypoglycemia here. We're talking about hypoglycemia here and the Samoji effect. So they go hypoglycemic, and what happens is your body stresses out. So it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, you know, we need to raise our blood sugar. Our brain's going to die. We're going to die in our sleep. Um, and that's kind of the take home, just an aside about diabetes in general. High blood sugar doesn't kill you, right? High blood sugar kills you over like 20 years. You go through the whole diabetes process and neuropathies and high stepage gates and amputations and all that stuff, but it doesn't kill you tonight. What kills you tonight is hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is much more severe, 
much worse than hyperglycemia. So back to this current effect, this phenomenon, when these individuals go hypoglycemic overnight, their body freaks out because they're like, hey, we're asleep and we might die if this doesn't go untreated. So your body releases hormones. Now these hormones are the same hormones that are active you know, throughout our body or in the Down phenomenon like we already talked about, and that's like growth hormone, um, glucagon. <clears throat> growth hormone antagonizes the little bit of insulin that is in there bloodstream and glucagon as we know works to increase um, blood glucose so basically your body is stressing out in the middle of the night saying hey we're going hypoglycemic we need to raise our blood sugar or we might not wake up ever um, but the way that a lot of people get these confused is because the net result in both these situations is both these people are going to wake up at you know 8 a.m and they're going to have high blood sugar and they're gonna be like what I didn't eat anything overnight like what's how can my blood sugar be high right now because you know I haven't I went to bed I wasn't eating when I was in bed but whether it's the dawn phenomenon and it's just part of your biological clock saying hey man it's time to wake up or whether it's the smoji effect and your body was stressing out um, saying hey we're gonna die if we don't necessarily increase our blood sugar right now these people wake up and that's where people get them confused. So the similarities are type 1 diabetics, same hormones are active in both processes and the outcomes are the same, which are when you wake up in the morning you have a high blood sugar or you're hyperglycemic or uh, at least normal glycemic, probably hyperglycemic. Um, the differences are dawn phenomenon seen by everybody always around 6 a.m. or like 2 to 8 a.m. Um, and it's just a uh, good stress. Your body's just saying, hey, it's time to wake up. Samoji effect, the difference is here. It's debatable. We're not exactly sure if it's necessarily all that real, but it happens on an individual basis and it's a bad stress. It's your body saying, we have to do this or we're going to die. So, uh, Danelle, hope that helps you out for your NCLEX. Great, you know, best of luck to you. And uh, yeah, thank you.